Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. Again, I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about editing a few different file types, uh, mainly the Adobe type as well as text-based files, as unfortunately, they're not quite open yet to working with the Google Docs or any of the following of that. So there is some useful applications that are within the uh, Chrome Web Store that you can get for free that will let you open up and manipulate those documents with qu actually some uh, fairly efficient ways of doing it. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first app that we're going to be talking about is going to be this one right here. And this one's actually going to be called, make sure I double check on that. Can I not see that in the store? I cannot see that in the store, I guess. Uh, anyways, that's going to be called uh, just plain old text. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so text is going to be anything you want to do to here to manipulate those text-based files. As you can see, when I click anywhere, I can come in here and I can write whatever I want. And I can backspace to save it. Now, as you see over here, the settings button, as you just saw, is going to be a list of a variety of different options to choose from. So if you want to change your font size, your tab spaces, and so on, as well as the way your... Uh, your whole setup looks like your UI development and that's the way it's going to look and then you can come back here and you can save it to exactly where your files and then it does save to your location inside of your files which is your main directory for everything on your Chrome OS device whether that is a Chromebook or a uh, Chrome box. The next file type that we're going to be talking about is going to be editing for uh, PDF actually pretty much any type of file and that is going to be hello sign uh, hello sign once you install that it's going to be just called that you can find that in the web store again it is free and it is available for android it has a, i believe ios as well uh, the really cool thing about this so we'll go ahead and just upload a quick pdf file uh, this pdf file is going to be the same pdf file you just saw and that is going to be let's get that really quick i'll just do a text-based one why not as it'll see but uh, as you can see you can do you know any type of file all right, we got that done. All you do is click it. Let's get a pop-up. And this is what we're going to have to work with. So on the very top, you're going to see we have a useful amount of tools. Uh, I really like something like this because, as you see right here, this is going to be just a typical electronic arts uh, permissions request form so I can record uh, gameplay and put it on uh, YouTube without getting dinged from YouTube as of December 2013 YouTube's you know been extremely strict on how you put gameplay up there for copyright infringements but anyways getting back to it as you see right here in the CTA I have to actually check one of these but since I'm on a computer and I don't have a hand it's actually kind of hard to do that but thankfully there's a little mark right here where it's called check mark I can come down here and let's say I'm using that bam put a check mark best part about it is if I don't like it I can move it wherever I want adjust it make it bigger as well as just plain old get rid of it uh, initials and signatures the exact same way so if I take a signature I can use a saved I can draw it in so you know it, it's kinda hard to do right here I should probably actually do that directly on my anyways you see what I'm talking about. It's kind of a little bit hard that way. I do recommend maybe saving it on your Android device first and then um, dragging it over here. The only reason I say that or your iOS device is because it's easier just to draw on your, uh, use your fingertip on your, your device and then port it over and then you can just save it and use it at any given time. Uh, text is going to be the same way so if you want to add some text you can just uh, click wherever you want to go, add your text and then again you can move it to wherever you need to move it. This makes this application extremely useful especially for anybody that's in the business world as well as the education world. So we'll go ahead and cancel that out. Okay and finally the third app I'm probably gonna butcher it. Senda? Sinda? Sinda? Anyways this is going to be an advanced uh, PDF manipulation tool that it says exactly on the top and it is again free. Uh, you can donate if you do enjoy it. Uh, this is going to be one of the more useful tools that I've found. Uh, the reason is because is you can come in here and you can completely modify uh, anything you're doing. And that's, you know, extract your text. You can actually encrypt it. So everybody, this is a very big, you know, big day and age when it comes to security. And if you have some important documents, such as medical files, um, court court documents, any of those, it might be, you know, it might be the best idea to come and then you can kind of encrypt it and you don't have to worry quite as much about that. Again, that's just three, you know, pretty simple uh, 
solutions to getting some of your a variety of different types of uh, documents edited, manipulated, whatever you're trying to do with them that just unfortunately are not available to get done inside of the uh, Google-based documents such as Google Docs. Uh, again, if you do have any files that you, or sorry, any applications or programs that you prefer over these, you can go always leave them in the comments below, and I'd love to share them with other people, as I can go ahead and then stick them inside the description. And of course, I'd love to give credit to that person that was making that comment. And there we have it. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, again, if you guys have any comments or anything you need to uh, know about what's going on here, any questions, go ahead and leave those again in the comment sections below. Or you can go ahead and send me a direct link, or sorry, you can get in contact with me, which if you look in the description, I'll have what different ways of getting a hold of me. Uh, again, I am Jonathan Parkinson. I was your host. And thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.